What's up guys, Zoll here, and today I want to give a review of a book I recently read. Now there aren't a lot of chemistry books that aren't just straight textbooks, so when they do come about they are pretty interesting and I really like a lot of them. Sam Keen has a lot of good books about kind of the history of science and just books about chemistry that aren't super hard to digest are really fun, and so I today want to talk about Ignition, an informal history of liquid rocket propellants. It is by John Drury Clark. It is a really fun book delving into the history of rocket propellants after World War II and onwards by someone who actually worked in the industry. And it is a really interesting book, so I'm going to just give my thoughts on it today, and hopefully you guys will actually be interested and go read it, because it is a pretty fun read. So I first came across this book because I'm actually interested in a lot of the rocket science stuff and cool chemistry applications that go into it, so that's just a really cool aspect to explore. And it's a really interesting book because it's from someone who actually worked in the industry. It is a lot of anecdotal crazy lab stories and talking about some of the insane chemicals that scientists came up with. Most of them with no regard for safety whatsoever and you really hear about a lot of terrifying chemical compounds. If you would like to read a book where you really get to know some compounds that really emphasize how dangerous chemistry can be, this is kind of the book for you because with liquid rocket propellants you're trying to get as much energy as you can stored in the smallest amount of area. You end up with highly energetic stuff that will be poisonous, catch on fire, on contact with air, burn through everything, super corrosive, and there's a lot of crazy chemicals. So if you do just want to know about a lot of crazy chemicals and stuff they came up with, this is a really good book for that. They go through countless different chemicals because they were constantly testing different things that may be used for liquid rocket propellants. Another thing I like about this book is it's not a super dumbed down version of chemistry. Of course it is digestible for the general public, but if you actually know your chemistry, you will also get lots of tidbits of information here and be able to glean some good information about actual chemistry from a book. I think it walks that balance really well. It's a book written by a chemist but for the general public, so you get both sides of it. And even if you're like a chem major who is maybe an underclassman and hasn't gotten to higher level chemistry, you'll still be able to understand this perfectly. Again, it was written for the general public and it's just really fun, really digestible. You get to know a lot of the old kind of fashioned chemistry that people did and the stuff they had to do way back then. It's also super insightful that this was written by an actual propellant chemist because there's kind of the ins and outs of the industry at that time and how it operated, what the different lab politics are and all. And because of this, it is both super informative, but it's also really funnily enough hilarious book. It really feels like you're sitting down with the author and just having a fun talk about stuff in the liquid rocket propellant industry and it's really funny and super like casual in the way it's written which is really fun and if you want to learn more about kind of liquid rocket propellant chemistry or if it interests you at all in that subject area I think that book is a really good starting point for that because it gives you some insights of what actual propellant chemists do. Of course nowadays liquid rocket propellant chemistry is like not as big of a field. A lot of the stuff goes into solid rockets nowadays and different propulsion methods, but rocket propulsion in general is still a pretty big and important field uh, for space travel, etc. So if you are interested, this is a good starting point for that. I do just really recommend this book. Uh, this and also if you are looking for other chemistry books, I might do more reviews on history of chemistry books in the future if you guys like this. Sam Keen has quite a few of just science books in general between bio and chem. The Disappearing Spoon is another great one all about the elements and how they're discovered, so be sure to check that one out too. And if you have any other questions about the book or any other book re recommendations for everybody in the comments, be sure to let us all know down below. I'm sure we'd all love to check them out, do some reading on them, and with that, I'll see you guys next time.